Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. This is Carl from LunchboxSessions.com, and this brief video looks at a feature called ride control as it shows up in the hydraulic circuit of most wheel loaders. So in this particular case, the ride control is not yet active. We have a small orifice and the accumulators have been charging with oil. They're gas pre-charged, but they've been charging with an oil charge whenever we're working the boom up and down. But once we've got the bucket loaded and we want to travel for a distance, the ride can be pretty rough if the road isn't smooth. And so to save the operators back, a feature called ride control is implemented here, let's get our wheel loader running. We can see that our loader is now traveling and our ride control valve has been activated, connecting our accumulators fully to the base end of our lift cylinders. And if we come along now with the boxing glove and create some shock on the end of our lift cylinders, you can see that the ride control accumulators with the gas space in the bladder above are acting as shock absorbers. So our boom has gotten a little bit soft or spongy, and that's handy during the travel phase. You'll also notice that an anti-cavitation check valve, an anti-void valve, is popping open every time the cylinders are punched down, and that's to help avoid cavitation damage in the rod end of the cylinder. Through that anti-cavitation check valve, we are drawing in fluid from the return to tank line. Return to tank is down here off the bottom of the screen. And so there is some flow typically taking place or fluid available in the return to tank line. And whenever shock events take place, a bit of makeup oil is drawn in. That's our brief video on ride control. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.